Hey yo, hey everyone, Skylinks here, bringing you another video review. Today we're going to be doing Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Black Arachnia. Now I'm happy Black Arachnia is in animated, mostly because that's another Beast Wars character that came through. Her and Waspinator. Wasp being Waspinator. Um, Black Arachnia's story really starts when she was actually an Autobot. Her name was Alita One. And, um,. She, Sentinel Prime, and Optimus Prime, who were all friends, were um, searching for Energon from ancient Decepticon vessels. They went to this strange planet. Now, her ability is she can copy any other robot's special ability. Anyways, back to the story. On this planet, they encountered these weird spider-like aliens, and the only way to escape was to grappling hook out. Uh, she used Optimus Prime's ability to grappling hook, but it snapped, and she was abandoned by Prime and Sentinel, and, well, Optimus and Sentinel, and, um, was forced to take this techno-organic life form. Um, so, she really resented the Autobots for abandoning her, thus joining the Decepticons. Though she really doesn't care about the Decepticons or their, um, their, how should I say, their motives or Megatron's dreams, all she rarely cares about is getting rid of her techno-organic structure. Um, in this mode, well, in her techno-organic abilities, uh, she can create webbing that's stronger than steel, have poison that can infect any kind of um, any kind of technology or any kind of mechanism, and she has the ability to still steal anyone's abilities. So she, she, even though in this mode she's still a very, very, very formidable opponent. But, um, and she has a thing going for Optimus. Now, whether or not she still has feelings for Optimus may not be true. Optimus still has feelings for her. Um, but she does use it to her advantage. And there has been times that she's done good. Now, anyways, um, on to the figure itself. You've seen me spinning it around. Um, she looks a lot like Transmetal, uh, Black Arachnia did. Transmetal 2 Black Arachnia did in Beast Wars. Whoop, there goes my cat. Uh, so she has that black purple color scheme with the gold on it. Very reminiscent. Um, she has good posability for her arachnid like form, except for in these arms, not much. These arms, yeah. So you can go to her and narrowly poses with the arms. She has this little thing back here that you can pull and then press this button and boom, flies back. Um, it doesn't stay in that well, it becomes her gun, so we'll take that out. But overall, this mode is pretty nice. I like the uh, spider mode. And I like that they're throwing in a few animals in there. The Dinobots, you know, uh, Black Arachnia. It'd be nice to see one or two more Beast War characters in addition to Black Arachnia and Wasp being redone up. Or maybe Silverbolt or... I don't know. But I'm pretty happy. Now, on to transforming her. A um, few ways you can go at it. First thing is you want to open up this area here and bring this section down bring the legs down uh, might as well do the legs first spin this around boom and there's the feet spin it around and boom there's the feet okay and then you want to take this section and release it oh that this whole thing came off let me just see if I can get it back on there we go. That seems to be a recurring theme with the Beast War, uh, not Beast Wars, the Transformers animated line. A lot of stuff popping off. Now, take this stuff, these other arms right here, and move them out of the way, like so. And readjust them up, so that they're facing up from behind. Okay, boom. Like that. Um, adjust the arms so that they're out of the way, too. Again, Keep adjusting there. Um, flip these legs around so it's a hand show. Connect this back section up and in. Makes like a little dress. And just adjust everything nice and neat. And there you go. There is Black Arachnia fully transformed. Um, she has pretty good articulation. Actually really well because I was putting in some nasty poses when I got her in the car. Uh, though these can get in the way, you can easily move them out um, just by pushing them back like so. So yeah, she has pretty good posability in the arms. The legs has decent posability. Though the legs are very awkward, concaved in, 
Um, the feet can go out a bit, so the legs have pretty nice posability. Um, I I'm happy with the articulation. She's a very nice figure. Um, her pipe lighting, though, takes up half her head, and it's red. Uh, she does have four eyes, uh, Decepticon symbol on her stomach. Very nice figure. And the gun can fit nicely into her hand right there, though it looks kind of odd and out of place. So, I don't know if I'll display her with a gun or not. But yeah, or a grappling hook, whatever you want to call it. Um, hey, can spin all the way around. There we go. Um, I guess that's all I'm going to say for articulation. Let's pause the review and put her into a nasty pose and take a look at her. Okay, is her fully transformed in a robot mode. She is a nasty figure. Awesome. I love her. Uh, she looks very nice. I was always a fan of the Beast Wars. Black Arachne in the show and in the figure, uh, at least with the Transmetal, and this is pretty much the same with her. I love her show character and I love her figure. Very feminine-like look to her, too. You can get some pretty nasty poses on, on her. Uh, you have to be careful with balance, but on a whole, she's an awesome figure. The gun pisses me off, the grappling hook. The look itself is nice, but the gun just looks gay. Sorry if you're gay, I'm sorry. It looks stupid, um, but she looks very nice. You can get some really good poses out on her. She has a hollow area right in there. Yeah, you can see it. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be there. Maybe I transformed her wrong, but I, the instructions didn't say anything. So, she has a Decepticon symbol there too. Her legs are a little concaved in. A little odd, but it's okay. It just makes her have gnarly calf muscles. And from behind, eh, she still looks pretty sweet. Pipe lighting is a lot, too. Um, and like I said, she has four eyes, so she's a pretty nasty figure. I definitely suggest picking her up. She's a deluxe, so she's only going to cost $10. She's not that much money, and you never know. She might not be around for long. Uh, she's pretty popular online, at least from what I read. Uh, but I could be wrong. So definitely get out there and get her. Um, I got her and Ratchet today, so I'll be doing a Ratchet review next. Uh, this whole week is going to be nothing but animated reviews. Anyways, we'll do one more overview look. I know you've seen enough of her, but definitely pick her up. Really nice figure, really nice, uh, nice character, and I really look forward to seeing more of her in the show. Anyways, this is Skyline saying peace out for now.